Many of us look for mentors, but we forget that while they can guide and inspire us, the heavy lifting remains our responsibility. Neha Gunpath is a teenager who is fascinated by science and technology, and she's grateful for the assistance she's received from a science educator at her school. This has literally placed Neha in the driving seat of an exciting project, and Karusha went to find out where she sources her energy. I'm meeting with 16-year-old Neha Gangpa, who together with her grade 10 classmates are competing in the Shell Eco Marathon competition. Neha, such a pleasure to Thank meet you. Thank you, nice to meet you too. Such an exciting day. It is extremely exciting. Tell me about how you got to this day. My teacher, Mrs. Smith, spearheaded and championed this initiative. I think what's great about this initiative, which is why a lot of us were keen on doing this, it's renewable energy, it's going to help our environment and decrease the carbon footprints on our Earth. And why is it so important for you to be focused on the environment? We need to protect our Earth, we need to save our Earth, and we need to be here not only for ourselves, but for future generations. And of course, today is race day. Yes, I will be the driver, so now I'm going to go get ready and I'll show you exactly how it works. Great. As we've heard from Neha, school and family play a huge role in her life as influencers, and I want to find out more. How does it make you feel to see her be a part of this? If you look at where we've come from and the history of this country, that's not exactly what we wanted for our kids. We wanted our kids to be able to have that space to explore, to develop, to grow their minds, and to have all the experiences that we couldn't participate in. Hi, Kirsha. It's such a pleasure to meet the teacher that spearheaded this amazing initiative. Oh, thank you. I can definitely see that science is your passion and in your blood. Look at your shoes. They're amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> How does it feel to be able to expose your learners to this? Everyone ultimately wants to meet their favorite scientists. And I can say out of my heart that I teach mine. And I know that these students have so much potential. And I'm sure your learners owe you a great gratitude to be able to experience something like this. All of the acknowledgement must go to the students. They've been working so hard and they've been really trying their best, especially Neha, her family. They have offered up so much for us. a real race car driver. Thank you so much. And tell me about how it works. What's different to this car as opposed to a normal car is that this is powered by a battery, which is more eco-friendly as opposed to using petrol or diesel. And how fast can it go? It can go up to 90 kilometers per hour, but for the race, we are going to be doing about 25 kilometers per hour. And how does the race work? Is it first to finish? What actually is the goal is to see who uses the least amount of energy and still finishes the track within 25 minutes. Very cool. So I want to see how you drive this thing. Okay, hold this and we'll take off the shelf. Can I please get some help? Okay, so one of the things that we have to do is when we get out of the car, we have to be doing it within 15 seconds so that if there's an emergency, we're able to get out as quickly as possible. So these uh, control the direction. I grab both controls and I move them in different directions. Basically on the right, I have my handbrake. I also have my throttle, which is engaged with the clutch, which is by the right on my feet. On the left, I have my hooter. Basically, I'll hoot when I'm overtaking someone so that everything runs smoothly and there's no car accidents. I also have a communication system and they are allowed to communicate with me as well throughout the whole race. Well, this is very cool. And do you feel nervous about having to drive? I'm nervous, but I've been practicing and I'm ready. And do you believe that you have a good chance of winning this? We've really worked hard on this car and I, I think it could win. My bet is on you guys too. And I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much. make you feel to see people as young as Neha, 16 years old, participating in this? To see young people compete in these competitions are so stimulating, so invigorating for us because the problems we have today will have to be solved by these young people. 
with Neha at the controls, Team SES racked up the greatest distance per kilowatt hour and came up tops in the electric battery vehicle category. This saw a school team overshadow the university-based rivals, making a mentor all the more proud of his students.